Right guys, what's up? I am a happy bunny today because we're back on a racetrack and I always have a good time when we're on one of these. You probably know just as well as I do the new Potenza Sport with Bridgestone because we did that road trip. Here's a few couple clips from that. That was a little while back and I was able to really experience the tyre properly, but the legends at Adopneur and Bridgestone invited me back to a racetrack today because it's one thing trying out the tyre on the road and it's another thing trying it out on track. So you'll maybe be able to see behind me, there's a car just doing its brake test there. We're going to be able to try out the tyre to the top of its possibilities. All right, legends, you are back on my forehead. This is the star of the show, but also massive shout out to Alupnu, who can actually, well, who are here earlier and changed the tires in under 30 minutes. So they can do this, they can come to your house if you need a new set of, for example, Potenza Sports on your car, they'll come and do it within 30 minutes. And they very kindly lent me this very cool A35 AMG, which has a stage two tune on it. So it's producing some, some pretty cool power. And inside we have Thierry, hello, <laughs> who is a professional racing driver and has shown me around the track. So I already kind of know the track a little bit. And then we've got Erwan, who's, yes, who's coming along for the ride on the track. Now these aren't gonna be any lap uh, record uh, laps around this track because I've literally only just discovered it um, right before we filmed this. And, um, and it's a little bit damp, but mainly I'm just going to chat you through a few little stations they've put here um, that are going to kind of allow us to feel the, uh, the car. So what do we have? We've got a couple little warning lights on there, seatbelt things. We're going to go into sport mode because this is the time to do it. Manual right here. Uh, now we might put a little bit of aircon on <laughs> because it gets a little bit steamy. There we go. And okay, here we go. We're going to go onto the track put it in manual first gear and obviously we've got the Potenza Sport tires it looks like it might rain but a few things we're going to be looking for because I've driven this on the road before and I've kind of witnessed how the traction works with this tire but on track it's a whole different story so we go up in gears we get to this first corner we're going to go third gear around here and it's crazy the grip this is a road tire remember not a track tire brake coming into this little chicane here and the grip the car is so communicative now I don't know if you can tell the track is a bit wet in this section so it goes from dry to wet and that's to kind of show how the car will communicate through effectively what are its shoes the only part of the car touching the track are the Potenza Sports and it will communicate exactly the grip levels with you so we could go through that wet section no problem the braking so stable even if we're turning steering wheel turn like that the car will break and not lose stability at all here we touch it's a little bit damp on the exterior but still no traction problems long corner here long right hander come in and then slam on the brakes and then what we're going to do is go up to 100 kilometers an hour at 100 kilometers an hour we've got 45 meters here oh we're actually a bit faster 110 to slam on the brakes and in 42 meters we have loads of spare room and what i wanted to show with that exercise here is just how stable the car is in dry condition braking so we've got dry condition braking dry condition steering and then the mixed weather exercise over there so look at this you brake no problem perfectly stable you could almost take your hands off the steering wheel i wouldn't recommend it but you could do it to feel the stability of the car here even with the steering wheel turn no problem goes through here we're into the section where see wet dry wet dry but i can perfectly feel where the front end is the back end is staying with me there's no problems there up again up the gears we're going to stay on the accelerator through this chicane again no problem at all and then hard onto the brakes the car again being very stable, front end digging in, not losing any grip, and I'm pushing on it, pushing on it, braking. Even with the steering wheel turned, it will dive into the apex, down one gear, out to the exterior. It's a little bit slippery, I missed a gear, that's my fault. Again, round on the right, 
and it will dig in like that onto the brakes, perfectly stable. Let's try to get up to 115 kilometers an hour now for the braking zone. Again, only 42 meters here. Are we gonna make it up to 115? Yes, and bang! And we did it! 115 kilometers an hour. And we've, well, I haven't, but they've been slamming on the brakes and it can still do it, no problem. How are you back there? Where's the exit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty intense, right? It is. <laughs> but how cool is that? I mean, this is a road tire and I'm barely scratching the surface of what it can do. And you could probably tell there, I wasn't having to fight the car at all. And that's what's amazing. I mean, I drove this on the motorway. I've driven it in town. It worked, you know, there wasn't much road noise on the motorway, but then you come on track right here, you feel safe. And that's the important thing, you know, a tire, you know, I, I've been a car fan my whole life. But I've never put that much thought and trial as I have with these tires um, before and it really opened my eyes to how much of a difference it makes because the sensations that I would get in other cars when it was letting go etc you sometimes think that's up to the balance of the car but what dictates that are the tires and having this quality of road tire which can be both effective on track and on road which is no easy feat has really opened my eyes there so awesome good good Very good, good. Amazing tire. Everyone's happy, everyone's in one piece, that's what counts the most, but I wanted to bring you along in POV to experience that with me because it's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna sign, wait, you know what? It's actually a little bit windy, so let's go in the car, in the A35 AMG. Look at this, the interior actually, I didn't show you around it much. We only got two laps on the track, so I hope it was okay. It was like a one take, only had two, two laps. Um, but I wanted to share the experience with you. I'm, I think I'm all dressed up and race stuff again, and. It, it's always so surreal to be able to spend some time on track and I really want to share it with you and I love doing it POV now It's the most natural for me, but it also kind of allows you guys to come along for the experience I feel uh, uh, as much as possible. But anyways quickly on this car look red stitching on the seats Alcantara leather. It's even got look, the Burmeister sound system. I just spotted the Burmeister logo there I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know well enough to be able to just tell from that But I spotted the Burmeister up there really nice um, so what, I think this is one of the ultimate, you know, daily drivers, super nice. It's even got the panoramic sunroof, this one. And great to be able to really, you know, if we were on a track, in a track car, it'd be hard to really feel um, what people who will then put this tire on their car will actually experience. But driving a car like this, um, it gives me a good idea of, of the kind of car that this tire will be on and the kind of usage you could get out of it if you really go for it. And super impressed, I mean, a huge thank you to both Alupneu and to Bridgestone just for the support of the channel. Um, you know, working with brands like these, uh, prestigious brands like these, is uh, just a complete dream come true. Uh, I feel so lucky and I'm still soaking it in, to be honest. And everyone's been so nice here um, uh, today. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to them because it's, you know, uh, uh, thanks to their support um, that we're able to, to film these kind of videos and share them with you. So a huge thank you. You know, it always feels so surreal and uh, I just want to take a moment to say how, how grateful I am and I realize how lucky I am to live these kinds of situations, to drive this type of car on this type of track and try out the latest and greatest from companies uh, as prestigious as this. So it's been awesome. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I did. You know, I didn't have too much time in the car to really um, get into the deep depths of the track itself and the behavior of the car as well as the tire. But I just wanted to focus on what we were here for today and share that with you. And uh, I hope it came across well and and uh, I really look forward to seeing you guys on another video. Please subscribe if you aren't already and uh, take care guys. Cheers, bye bye.